Yeah, and um, what does that lead to? Big problems, right? The lack of measurable rain is translating into dangerous fire concerns across the Northeast. Uh, happening now, firefighters in Connecticut battling multiple brush fires throughout the state. While the dry brush is largely to blame, we've also been experiencing some breezy winds and that low humidity Ari was mentioning. So parts of Connecticut reporting less than half an inch of rain so far this month. Um, no rain, as we mentioned, is expected this week. I mean, maybe we see some sprinkles in Connecticut with the passing of that front, but is it measurable? I don't know about that. Uh, temperatures also expected to cool off by Thursday, but there's a look at the fire that they are currently battling. The good news is that firefighters are saying it's not rapidly spreading, so that's allowing them to make more progress or any progress, but it erupted yesterday. I want to bring in meteorologist Britta Merwin, um, because, Britta, it's not just Connecticut. I mean, mm -hmm. you head down the I-95 into New Jersey, and it's a very similar situation. Yes, I think the only thing that's on our side is that the winds have been in check. Mm -hmm. That would be a game changer. Yeah. Also, how you approach wildfire in the Northeast is extremely aggressive because of the population density. Think about how many people live up and down the 95 corridor. It's the busiest stretch in terms of population density in our entire country. This is video from Rockaway Township, New Jersey. This is Morris County, New Jersey, northern parts of the state. A lot of folks actually commute in and out of New York City every single day from Morris County, New Jersey. You're talking about maybe a 45-hour drive from New York City itself. Firefighters making some big progress here. Again, we have containment lines that are progressing. They're over 75% contained here. But the problem is that this is going to be something that continues to pop up. South of Morris County, in New Jersey, you find the Pine Barrens. Now, the Pine Barrens are, are, are a huge chunk of the state of New Jersey. It makes up 22% of the state. The Pine Barrens is over 1.1 million acres in size. Get this, right within the state of New Jersey, over 9 million people. That's how big the stakes are, guys. You have 9 million people with 1.1 million acres of dry tinder waiting to catch on fire. In fact, Forbes magazine a couple years back wrote an article really pointing out the danger here that the pine barrens in the state of New Jersey could be a, leak, a leaking or uh, lurking that's the word I'm looking for a lurking giant in terms of natural disaster because of the pine barrens and if it gets too dry you can get yourself into a scary situation so again we have multiple fires that are working both in the state of New Jersey and also Connecticut so we do need to get the rain in here unfortunately it's just not in the mix uh, again you guys are talking about that dry cold front I don't think we're going to be able to get measurable rain but we don't just need measurable rain we need like soaking rain uh, we, we haven't had rain in three weeks, and so the soil is very, very dry. Not only are we off to the driest stretch uh, for fall for many spots across the 95 corridor, but we just don't have a lot in the forecast. Uh, Temperature-wise, though, that does help out. Battling the wildfires in New Jersey and Connecticut with temperatures in the 60s, a lot easier for crews than battling them with temperatures in the 80s. But there's a look at where we sit. We are two to three inches in the bucket for the state of New Jersey, so unfortunately, Unfortunately, this wildfire risk is something that we'll have to continue to contend with. In fact, over the Pine Barrens, uh, which are really located, you know, right in here, we have severe drought. This is exactly where the Pine Barrens are located. And, you know, we have severe drought across the area. So, unfortunately, a tough situation where the only way to get out of it is to get measurable rain in here. There's a look at the Pine Barrens itself. Again, it makes up 22 percent of New Jersey state, over a million acres. And we got nine million people that live in the state. And in terms of getting people to safety, well, you got the Garden State Parkway, which, let me tell you, I think everybody on that desk over there probably tries to avoid it most of the time because it's it's only one massive interstate, and if you're trying to get a bunch of people on it in terms of keeping them safe from a wildfire, that's why Forbes wrote that article a couple years ago. It could be a logistical nightmare trying to get people in and out. So uh, it, it is a situation that you just sort of have to watch and monitor, and hopefully we can get some rain in here because it's the last spot in America that you really want to have very dry conditions. There's a look at the forecast again. Again, note the cooler temperatures. That does help out. Heat is part of this recipe that you want to avoid. But the fact that we have no rain in the forecast, it is a trouble for the state of New Jersey. Yeah, I mean, and I know you also live in New Jersey. I got a notification from our community saying there's a drought watch uh, mm -hmm. issued by the governor for the state of New Jersey. So they're just asking people to be Conserve. careful with water use. Yeah. Um, and not that we water our lawn anyway. It's just a no. bunch of clovers and dirt at this point. <laughs> um, but there is boys. that. There's no point in watering a lawn because it's going to turn into like monster truck rally. Absolutely. But, you know, a lot of people camp. 
in New Jersey mm -hmm. in October. All the campgrounds do have rules that there's no outdoor burning. Mm -hmm. A lot of people have a lot of open land and they like to do their own clearing. That is not happening right now. No, even we also, we like to burn all of our extra wood and leaves. Um, that's not it. happening either. It's just too dry. Um, and things to remember until we get some substantial rain. Britta, thank you.